Welcome to another training video series by Cash Data Consulting LLC. We are an IT consulting firm based in Dallas, Texas. We specialize in data management and information systems. Also, our focus is on website design development and SEO optimization. So today uh, I have put together essentially a, another new series that is titled Search Engine Ranking and Optimization uh, and this is part one of um, our series. So basically what we are going to do is we uh, have decided to do a case study in SEO optimization. Uh, essentially we have an existing page that is not showing up in uh, the top five pages on uh, the three search engines that we have decided to go with. Um, the ones we are interested in are Google, Yahoo and Bing and uh, together those three control majority of the uh, search engine market. So the page we are going to be looking at is um, one of our websites is LearningSQLServer2008.com and so let's uh, quickly take a look at this page. Uh, essentially what we have is uh, this is uh, again uh, one of our company's pages so we have the logo up here but we provide uh, training on SQL Server which is a database management system from Microsoft and the new version of it is uh, SQL Server 2008 so we basically uh, essentially have products on this um, software and the page we are interested in is actually under the membership section uh, you can um, buy sort of like an unlimited training membership and so if you go on this page you'll see that there's a lot of information about our products um, we do have some free uh, video samples and uh, you know essentially training material related to uh, SQL Server 2008 so now this page is uh, you know not showing up like I mentioned in the top five pages and essentially our keyword phrase that we are interested in is free SQL Server videos uh, that we want to use um, we you know we offer products but we do have some free samples so the idea is if the users uh, you know type in this word and they can at least get some free samples and try the product and uh, if they like it they could go ahead and buy it so how do we really get there okay so the, you know we are going to be uh, looking at a lot of different things so the step one which is sort of like our baseline is first we need to find uh, the number of hits on the existing page okay so if you already have a web page uh, chances are you can uh, sorry about that uh, you can actually go into the website and um, Typically, they do have a control panel type thing that uh, you can use. Uh, essentially, what this is going to do is it's going to let me into my um, back end of the website. And we are just trying to get some information on our existing uh, statistics. And the reason we're doing this is to get sort of like a baseline, okay? Um, we want to know that how many uh, hits have we had in a given month, okay? Uh, and this will, uh, after we optimize the page, this will give us a good idea of uh, essentially how well did we do. So you'll notice that products is actually was the number one page in October, but member.htm had uh, essentially uh, 194 hits. So I'm going to go ahead and write this in here. All right. And then we'll close this one and we'll do the same thing with. Uh, November since we are in the middle of January it's, it is January 14 I'm not going to uh, essentially count this month um, but uh, again uh, so in, in November we did pretty good looks like in fact I'm actually going to go back to the entry pages we did excellent we got up to 251 hits okay so that's a, definitely a step in the right direction and then uh, one more thing we're going to do is look at, at December's information. And again, we're going to the entry pages and look at 163. So in December, it uh, dropped a little bit. I'm actually going to go ahead and leave that one open, but close some of these other page. 
So it dropped to, looks like, uh, 163, okay? So what this does is it just sort of like uh, gives you a baseline. You can actually, in fact, go ahead and do an average if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that at this point. And then after, you know, you do your optimization, you can come in and enter the, va yeah, and enter the value over here, okay? So that's our step one, not too exciting. Then we move on to step two, which is definitely, I would say, one of the more most important thing uh, regarding optimization is to um, get get your ranking up okay so like it says do a little keyword research and I'm mentioning uh, two excellent free sites here one is uh, freekeywords.wordtracker.com and the other one is tools.seobook.com so let me go ahead and, and do that in fact, uh, I think I should have this open here. All right, so Word Tracker, like I mentioned, uh, you can uh, do some, you know, free, essentially, uh, free research. Let me just type in free keyword. And you can actually, I think you can even sign up for uh, a membership, which, is, which I believe is a... Uh, like there you go one week membership and you can do lots of cool things in there but for now I'm just going to try search on SQL Server and uh, you know try to get an idea so what this does is it gives you an idea of what people are searching for I mean you know you may have uh, some some suggestions on what to put on your website but ideally you want to do this um, you know unbiased uh, type research to get ideas of what people are looking for. So this definitely looks like a need for SQL Server tutorial. Uh, people are searching for SQL Server about 313 times a day. Okay, and you know you can look at this. I believe you can even uh, export this. Uh, you know if you were the member. So that's one tool. The other one is like I mentioned, SEObook.com, and this is excellent. I mean you go to tools here. And you could sign up for a uh, sort of like a free, um, uh, you know, account membership here too. And now I just clicked on tools, and then I clicked on keyword suggestion tool. And again, I'm going to go ahead and pick SQL Server. All right, and let's go ahead and get so to submit. Now, what this is going to do is it's actually going to give you uh, a few more options than Word Tracker. Okay. Uh, in fact, I believe Word Tracker is is part of um, the results that that they send us. Uh, in fact, you know, here's here's what I'm talking about. So we already use Word Tracker, but using SEO bo SEO book dot com, you can get to the same information. It tells you, you know, how many searches are being done on Google, Yahoo, MSN, and the tool I like in here is. Uh, AdWords keyword tool, which uh, if you're not familiar with, AdWords is essentially the advertising program from Google. And you know they have a, a ton of information on what people are searching for, so I would definitely recommend looking at this one. So what I did was I just put in uh, SQL Server, and I'm trying to get some ideas on this. Uh, this time it didn't. Uh, sometimes it'll bring up a sort of like a key uh, password to enter so that uh, just to make sure you're not a robot or whatnot but apparently it didn't do that which is okay now here um, there are two things I really like in here okay one is this thing called advertiser competition on the left okay what this does is uh, it, it tells you that these keywords on the left have high or low competition okay so if you are searching for Microsoft SQL Server 2000, guess what? I mean, it's very high competition, so chances are you're not going to be able to rank high as opposed to if I sort it uh, the other way. Some of these terms, okay, are, are a great candidate. In fact, for our uh, video, we actually, I went ahead and picked this one, which is SQL Server Free, um, because it doesn't have a high competition, okay? Now, on this right side, you'll see where it says Global monthly search volume this is what you know these keywords are being searched on on a monthly volume uh, monthly basis okay so the term SQL server is being uh, you know searched six million times which is very high um, but again you know notice the competition is high too so what I did was I picked a few terms from in here and then what I did was I